How useful would it be to somebody to have this scoop? I mean, <laughs> this is brilliant stuff. I, I, you can't make this stuff up. Has finding products on Amazon FBA in 2020 changed? Well, in some part it has changed, in some part it hasn't. And I'm here to show you how to use Helium 10 Black Box to find products super fast. Now, if you've just started out, then great. This is going to be a perfect video for you. If you've been searching on Helium 10 Black Box or using any product research tool to find products and you're getting a little bit frustrated as to how you can go about finding products and how so many other people are showing how quickly they're finding products, I'm going to show you how you can get over that hump. Welcome to the channel, my name is Vic JC, and if you want more videos like this one, make sure you smack that subscribe button. So let's dive straight into this video and I'm going to show you two different methods, two different product research methods on how you can actually go about finding some products to sell on Amazon FBA. Now we're going to head over to Helium 10 Black Box. If you don't have this tool already, then make sure you head over to the link that I put in the description so you can get the free trial and you can also get your 50% off. Now once you're in your Helium 10, you'll see it on the top left hand corner, you'll see black box product research. Oh, don't know what I did there. Black box product research. Oh, I've gone into the trends finder. Click on the black box product research and it will bring you to this page. So here I want to show you an approach that is slightly different to probably what you're used to or the way you go about handling this. And this approach is going to get you products much faster. So I've got two ways to actually show you, but I wanna show you this first one first. <laughs> um, so the first thing you wanna do is just pick some of these categories. So I've selected 15. First thing I want you to do is select all and then hit the search button. The reason I want you to do that is I want you to see what comes up with some of these. And what I found is the same the same products kept coming up. So for example, bed sheets and bed covers was in home and kitchen. So I just took that off just to get rid of them so I can see some more clearer products. And then I did the same for all of the other ones. Cell phone accessories. I saw that I was not gonna sell anything like cell phones or accessories within that field, within that uh, category. Clothing, shoes and jewelry. I also saw the same thing with beauty and personal care as well. So that's all I selected. Then you want to make sure you got a monthly revenue of 10,000, a minimum of 10,000. Then you want a price between 20 and 50. Now some people will say, put it as 1997 so you capture the ones that are slightly less. You can do that if you wish, but it doesn't make a big deal for, for me in all honesty. Now if you're really struggling then yeah, why don't you just put this down to 15 and why don't you put this just up to 55 or 60. The review count, I would put a maximum of 100. At least we know with 100 that these sellers are relatively new on Amazon. If somebody has a review count of 1,000, it means they've been on Amazon for a while um, and you will not be able to compete with that when it comes to doing product research from this section. The review rating I'm going to keep as normal. I'm not going to select anything in shipping size tier. So what I did is I hit the search button and I went for it, that was it. So what I do here and what I want you to do is just select products that you think you'll be able to sell. Now, if you're on the fence, I still want you to select those products. So what we do here, and let me just run through what's on the top and how this actually works, is you can see the price of the product and the monthly revenue of the product. That's all you need to see. The price of the product and the monthly revenue of the product. And as you can see here, these, this person's making 13,000 a month. That's good enough for me. I'll look at the rest of the information later. Don't sit on this page for ages and ages to try and determine whether this is right for you or not. At this stage, this is not the right time to be diving deep for analysis. Right, so I wanna quickly go down and I find this thing over here, which is some sort of double-sided color stand-up bag, five ounce, so it's tiny, um, which is great. They're making 13,000 a month and they're selling it for $27, or well, $28. So let's open that one up. Uh, we wanna keep sure we keep that open. Then we've got these uh, cooking utensils as well. Uh, with an ebook, they're making 20,000 a month. I definitely want to open that up as well um, to see what we can do with that. Then we've got something here, which is some sort of filter. Uh, I don't know too much about filters. You can learn about it as well. I'm just not, uh, sure whether the filter is the right area for me, but it is made by 3M. So I know that that's something I'm not going to compete with. I know it's a big, big brand. 
Now, people always ask, um, what if they're branded? Everything is branded. You just need to check whether they are a big brand that you're going to compete with and you're not stepping on their toes in terms of uh, patents and trademarks. So let's quickly scroll down and see what else we can find. Um, Team Sports America. Okay, so if that wasn't branded like that, then I would probably uh, go ahead and look at it. But in any case, I'm on the fence. I'm going to go and open it. Car seat gap filler. I don't even know what that is. Looks decent. They make almost 30,000 a month. I'm going to open that out as well. So I've got four products already. Uh, set of four polished coasters. I don't even know what type, this is some random type of coaster. I'm going to open this out because they're still making almost $12,000 a month. Look, this apron's come out again, so I'm glad we opened that out. Uh, translation of Holy Scriptures, uh, probably not. Uh, microwavable lavender scented plush owl. Maybe, maybe. I mean, they are making 195000 if that's the truth, then I want to have a quick look. Carousel cup and lid organizer. Okay, they're making 20,000 a month. I wanna look at that too. What else do we have here? Porcelain and steel cast iron grill cooking grate. Uh, if this is fold foldable, then yeah, why not? Look, they're making 10,000 a month over here. They're selling it for $38. They must be making a decent amount of money. Um, what can we see here? Some recyclable wine plastic cups at 48, uh, stemless as well. So look, they're making 15,000. Why not? Let's have a look at that as well. Generally, I, I like to stay away from stuff like this if it looks like it's going to break um, in transportation. But if you, can tran uh, if you can get it packaged correctly so that it has a high chance of not breaking, then fair enough, go for it. So these are protein bars, that's food. You wanna stay away from food. So I can see that grocery and gourmet food is something that I need to uncheck within the categories. Um, and that's something you don't want to go ahead with. Then there are these envelopes as well. Can you get envelopes made? Yes, you can. Let's have a look at that. They're making 11,000 a month. There could be a reason why this is selling well right now. And then look, we've got the utensil set as get. The utensil set again. Now that was only page one. Now that should show you an example of how quick you analyze these products. Don't go into so much detail because we've already put the search criteria in. So almost all of these products should be good, right? You just need to quickly cast your eye over it and make sure it's not a product that's electronic. Make sure it's not a product that could easily break. Make sure it's not food. Make sure it's not pet food. Make sure it's not creams, um, that type of stuff. Make sure it's not a, uh, a one-off product like the owl. That's why I'm a bit on the fence with that owl thing we saw the oven, no, the microwave owl thing. But I don't know if that's a, a, a specific product, a one-off product that actually does well. So that's something we've got to go ahead and look at later. So how many did we find? We found, uh, let me just count this up over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the first page. And I bet you I can find more. Look, silicon placemats. I definitely want to have a look at that. Now this is an example of something you don't want to look at because you know Epson is a big brand. If you don't know, you can just check it out, but Epson is a big brand. It's ink cartridges. Ah, that's going to be too complicated for me. Um, rubber backing for stairs. Why not? Let's have a look at that. They're making 14,000 a month. These are things you need to be looking at. And there's so much more here. There's so much more here. It can't even load as fast as I scroll. So there's a lot of stuff here that you want to look at. There's some stuff you stay away from. I mean, you're not really going to sell oil, are you? Um, motor oil. So you go ahead and look at all of that. So we found about 12 products in whatever time this video has passed. So um, that's really, really fast. And that's how quickly you want to go ahead and analyze these products. So let's have a quick look at some of these products. Let's go and look at, uh, let's have a look at something that I really liked actually. Um, not that one. So not to say that any of these are bad. None of these are bad. We need to check and analyze these products, don't we? Uh, and these are all the products that we found. And if you want to take any of these products, feel free to go ahead and have a look at some of these products. But look how simple this product is. So this product is selling for $24 and, sorry, 26 cents. And they've only got four reviews, 2.7. I'm sure there's some improvements that we can actually make on this specific product. Uh, go find out what it's actually used for. 
um, what's the problem with the product, make some improvement, what people are actually buying with this product. Um, you can see the other products over here and you can go ahead and make those improvements and actually sell this product. So let's have a look at one of the reviews. Non-slip my foot. That's a pretty easy solve. You just put some grips underneath and you provide that when you actually sell this product. So that's something you could look at. There's a, let's see what else we got over here. Something that I actually uh, like. Uh, this one over here. I don't actually know what these stand-up bags are used for. Now I'm going to go into a slightly bit of a deeper analysis on this just so I can show you uh, what this product is actually used for. So I don't know still what this product is used for. I have no clue. Still. Okay, so if you want to find out what more about the customer of this product, uh, what you want to do is you want to head over to a couple of places. So you want to head over to some social platforms. So you want to head over to Pinterest, you want to head over to Reddit, you might want to head over to Etsy to see what things are going on over there, what reviews people are leaving. You might want to head over to YouTube and see what this is all about. In fact, let's, let's head over to YouTube and see what we can find. So this is a, what is this? A stand-up bag. Let's go over to YouTube.com and let's type in stand up bag and see what comes up. Mm, oh look, craft stand up zipper pouches. So maybe we can, if we look at this, we can start to understand what people use it for. Already, wait, I just saw it there. Already, oh, where are you going? Already I can see mixed nuts. So people probably use this for mixed nuts and I didn't know that for, in all honesty. If you did, then great. Um, now look, you can see it here. She's using uh, this to put it in there. So look what she's using, by the way, a scoop. How useful would it be to somebody to have this scoop? I mean, <laughs> this is brilliant stuff. I, I, you can't make this stuff up. Um, this, if you, how good would it be if you sold this pack, this package, with this window in there and look you can see on the product over here there's no window in this and maybe it's like that for a reason god knows what people are putting in there i can only assume people might be putting like weed or something like that in there um let's have a quick look at some of the reviews where is it where is it let's look at some of the good okay look i forgot i had weed in my pocket and i was walking past police dogs so people are using it for that Probably not a good idea to market in that market it in that way, and I definitely would say not. People buy this for pot, but the uh, but I bought it for the ostomy bags. I don't know what ostomy bags are. Um, so people are basically using this to put some sort of uh, nuts in there. I'm sure they're putting a lot of other types of product. But if imagine we sold it with this scoop. That would be crazy. You know what? You're adding value to people and that information is not here. That scoop. I don't see it anywhere. It's not here. Oh, look, and we can see, look, people can buy sweets, put it in there for their kids. There's loads of different sizes. Look, and designs and stuff. And, and we can create this. But what I can see is nobody's selling it with that scoop. Even Amazon is not even suggesting it with a scoop. They're, they're suggesting some sort of sealer. Now, imagine we got this right and we sold it with the scoop. We should make a decent amount of money and we should come out on top because you're given a scoop and a bunch of bags. I mean, you know, 100 bags, different sizes or whatever it is. And if we carry on, we can see what else this is possibly. I don't even know what that is. Is it sweets? Don't know. Or you call it candy in the States. Uh, and they're showing how you could actually put your own brand on it, but you're going to be the person selling this product. You don't want to put that type of brand on it. You might want to put a nice little small logo in the bottom right over there so when people are using it, they can use it discreetly, but they still remember where they bought it from and what brand they bought it from. And they may even go ahead and Google you because you've got your brand on the product and then you go ahead and you've got your own site and then you've got your own traffic and then you can sell them other stuff that's related to that separately at a higher price and you've got a loyal base of customers. That's advanced. But I'm just showing you how other social medias can actually help you to sell this product. Now, 
there's a lot more checks to do. You have to do your checks on demand. You have to do your checks on the profit margin. You have to do your checks on are you actually solving a decent problem. Um, you, there's tons of other checks you need to do as well, such as um, is there a demand throughout the year for this product? Uh, what does that look like on Google? And what are the other search terms? There's a million other things you need to look at to make sure that this is the correct product to go for. But I'm just wanting to show you how other social media platforms can actually tell you what the product is for, what it's about, and what else they're using. That video is so powerful. It's, there's so much information in that video that you should be using. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the second method of how to actually use this. So let's go back to black box. I'm gonna clear all of this data. Um, remember we had about 12 products now on that first two pages. So I'm gonna keep the categories the same. I'm gonna keep the monthly revenue the same. I'm going to keep the price the same. I am going to change the review amount. Now I'm gonna take a bold move over here and say, let's see if we can find something that has a minimum of 500 reviews. 500 reviews, crazy. Right, the review rating I want you to put as a maximum of, let's go for 3.5. We're gonna leave the shipping tier again as it is. So we've put a review rating of 3.5. So we hit the search button, let's see what we can find. Now, I haven't actually done this search, so I am going to see what I can find and how quickly I can find it. So this is something that I want to look at. Again, you use the same method of just finding some products. Remember, it's already meeting our criteria because we put that in there. And I'm actually going to show you why we have done review rating of 3.5 and why we're going for a review account of 500 plus. The reason we go for a review account of 500 plus is so that we find products that have a lot of customer data, a lot of reviews from customers that show us that they are not happy with the product. Most of them are not happy because they are rating this one, two, or three stars. There will be some people who give it a four or a five star rating, but the majority of this 500 will have given it three stars or less to give it a three and a half star rating. What does that do for us? That gives us an opportunity to actually go ahead and improve and fix this product, if we can. And I'm going to show you how you can go and do that. If you don't know, you really need to make sure you focus and listen to this one. So let's go have ahead and have a look. I'm not choosing this because it's some sort of spray. It's got liquid in there. I'm not choosing this because it's a coffee grinder. It's got electronic parts, etc., in there. This one looks good. It's a hose. There's something wrong with it, but people are buying it. I'm going to stay away from that. Look, the hose comes up again. The coffee keeps coming up. Uh, what is this? Even for a position lock wood gate. So if this is foldable and makes it small, then I definitely want to see that. It's making 340,000 apparently, uh, and we want to check whether that's accurate as well. So you check, we will go ahead and check that later. Now, what is this uh, cervical support pillow? Yeah, sure, why not? I could have a look at that. It makes 11,000 a month. If I could improve it, that could be doubled. It could be triple, could be quadruple, because we're solving that problem, remember? Uh, now look, we've got loads of car seats, and what I would do is, because this keeps coming up, I'd get rid of automotive from the categories at the top. Um, but I'm going to leave it for now as we go ahead. Um, Joyce Chen, I know that is actually a brand name myself, otherwise I would be looking at that. Um, and what else can we have here? Let's have a quick look. What is this learning resource? Time tracker, visual timer, clock, blue. I don't even know what that is. I would like to have a look though. I never see it is electronic so I'll generally I keep away from it look you can see the seats keep coming up let's see what we can get on page number two uh, and this is where you separate from everyone else by the way this is where you separate from everybody so we've got a lunchbox here I definitely want to see that they're making 14,000 a month look this keeps coming up oh look the lunchbox proof bed bug nest killer vapor treatment maybe you want to have a look at that Appliance knobs, yeah, why not? Have a look, see if there's anything you can do. This is the only way you're going to learn is to actually go ahead and open some of these up. Uh, and uh, what do we have? Nothing, nothing. The hose keeps coming up. It's a good one. Uh, what we've got here, nope. Lunchbox keeps coming up again as well. This is some sort of adapter. Uh, what is this? 
candy party mix note. So this sometimes this can take you some time to actually go through. It's not always super fast. That's what I'm here to tell you that the realistic view of this is not always super fast. Sometimes it is, then it's awesome. Sometimes it's not, then you just gotta go through it, work hard and find the product because as soon as you find that product, you will actually get to the lifestyle that you're looking for. You'll start creating that passive income stream you've been looking for. Whether it's even just a thousand dollars extra a month, that can be grown to $10,000. If you can make an extra $1,000 doing this on your own, you can definitely make an extra $10,000. And I'm talking profit here, goes into your bank account. That's what I'm talking about. So it looks like I may, might have not found much, but actually let me count. But we found seven. And I, like I said, you just need to find 10. Keep going until you find 10. You wanna make sure that you can get at least 10 to start off with so you can do some further analysis. So like I said, I'm gonna show you now how you actually go about finding the problems on these products. So all you need to do is, look, the reason why I said we want more than 500 ratings is so that we can go ahead and check out the one star ratings. Now, if you have Helium 10 or you don't have Helium 10, go and get the review downloader, it is awesome. You just click on review downloader, click on one, two and three stars. And what we are going to do, we're gonna extract this information and we are going to see what is the problem with this specific product? Now, what you can see here is there are two parts to this. There are all the reviews and the analysis section. And Helium 10 has been awesome in doing that, the analysis. And what they do is they try and collate all of the words that keep coming up together and they put them in this. So you can see this word has come up 37 times. Um, and you can read what the issue is and you can see how many stars these people have actually given. So what I want to quickly go through is see, look at this, 31 times people have said it started leaking, 30 times people have said it sprung a leak, and if you want to see more information specifically what they said, you can go and have a quick look there. And if you're able to go ahead and solve that problem, then you're actually able to hopefully beat them. So they're probably making a minimum of 10,000. I think we saw it was 20,000. If you actually solve that problem and you get it to stop leaking, you could double that money easy. So that could be $40,000 a month. And that's in revenue. In profit, that could be around the twelve dollars to $15,000 mark, depending what your profit margin actually is. Now, how will that actually change things for you? And what could it do for you? And what could you do with that money to help other people? And how could it help you and your family? And that's just one product we're looking at as well. So this should show you the potential. So I'm gonna go back to Blackbox so you can actually see what we did. If you want to take a screenshot of this as well, pause it over here, write this down, or save it in a playlist if you want, so you can actually use this at a later date when you go and do this. If you want Helium 10, remember you can download the free trial or you can get your 50% discount and get started today. Remember, this stuff does take time. You do need to do your analysis. And if you want more on the analysis section and everything that you need to look at to make sure you've got the right product, make sure you go and check out my program. You can find it at fbastars.com. I'll also put a link in the description for you as well. If this video was useful, I want you to hit that like button for me and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you are notified when I release new videos just like this one. I will see you in the next video.